This is Mark Lee Park, continuing on with the Big Fix Foundation series. In this session, I'll be covering uh, Big Fix troubleshooting. Let's get started. Okay, so these will be the topics today. Location of the key log files, client troubleshooting, server diagnostics, root server troubleshooting, uh, relay health, and console performance, and some health check dashboard information. So for the agents uh, you have out there, this is the logging information. So Windows, you can see where we keep that. And then on the Unix Linux world, uh, we keep that in par up. And then on the Macs, it's uh, under library application support. Uh, but uh, these are the logs. Um, in the Windows world, uh, Beartail or some other tool that can give you real-time access to viewing the log is very beneficial. On the Unix Linux Mac side, uh, those are all set with the uh, tail command, so it's all built in on the Unix Linux side. Uh, the advanced logging and client usage profiler uh, typically, you're not going to need to uh, turn these on unless support is asking for it or you just want to look at more information. Um, remember that when you turn it on, you have to restart the agent. And re always remember to turn these off and restart your agent because they will suck up CPU cycles that uh, you probably didn't plan for. So looking at the log of a client uh, this is a normal startup log so the endpoint has started it's connected to its uh, root server and it's reported uh, back that it uh, successfully connected issues with the agent uh, the biggest issue we see is get earl fail general transport failure uh, typically meaning that this agent cannot talk to its big fix relay or its big fix root server. So things that could cause that, um, maybe you are, uh, this device is outside of your network, it's in the internet, and you forgot to tell the endpoint in a client setting that, hey, you need to talk to this particular relay, because uh, by default, it's gonna wanna talk to the root server. Um, AVs and firewalls can wreak havoc in your world. Um, a lot of times we'll see that, uh, I mean, for a big fix to work efficiently, UDP is, is key. And a lot of times um, companies will turn off UDP and uh, then big fix can't see that UDP packet come in that tells it it's got a little bit of work to do and you're going to have to set up command polling. And so, could be that the clients are too busy. Um, and typically, I don't see this in, in a, a normal size environment, but when you're pushing uh, 50, 60,000 endpoints, you, you could be uh, seeing some odd uh, behavior by, uh, with the abuse of the master action site. Agent logs, again, uh, so here's a ha gather hash command received. Uh, this is just telling, this is the indicator that a UDP packet has been received and that the big fix uh, client understands what it needs to do. And here it's downloading the content of its particular mailbox and it does whatever it was told to do uh, in that mailbox. A normal process uh, that we see uh, where the uh, the endpoint has been told something. Uh, I don't show the gather hash command in here, but it happened up a couple lines earlier. Um, so the gather hash command comes in, it looks at its mailbox, and it uh, realizes that this uh, block automatic delivery of IE9 needs to be done. It validates the signature for execution, which also means that a, it's checked that your ID that's running this action is authorized to run actions. And B, the action site.afxm file, the hash that's in there of your certificate is also valid. Uh, so once those are checked, then we can start, uh, start the action. 
And of course, Big Fix always reports back that it started something or it completed something. Um, this line here, we see command succeeded, and uh, we know that we ran this registry entry. So we uh, set a D word to one for this particular uh, uh, registry setting. And then uh, big fixes, remember big fix, whenever you run a, a fixlet, uh, it will always go back through and check that, that uh, whatever piece of uh, information that was norm that was true is now no, no longer true and it's false. Thus you get the fixed uh, term. And then finally, uh, big fix, uh, the client says, eh, this fixlet is no longer relevant uh, to my environment. Uh, dump files, I uh, don't see a lot of call for this, uh, but they, this happens occasionally. And this is something that you probably want to uh, open up a ticket with support if you see a whole bunch of uh, client dump files being created. Server diags. Uh, so in the world of Windows, you're able to run this program uh, for the uh, big fix diagnostics. And it will then uh, give you various information about the uh, processes that are running on your system. Green is good. Uh, yellow take uh, might need to pay attention to. And of course, red stop is bad. And on the top here, we have the server tab, uh, services tab, and the web reports. So that will give you information about the services running and then also about the web reports information. Troubleshooting your root server. Um, just like the client, um, remember your root server is also running a client. Uh, you can't have a big fix install without a client on the root server. It does a ton of work for us. Uh, so again, uh, connectivity to the default port, both TCP and UDP, or maybe there's something blocking port 80 outbound or port 443 outbound or port 21. Uh, those ports are used by the root server to go gather content. Uh, so if they can't connect to those, uh, it's not going to be able to gather content. Maybe you're in an air-gapped environment, and there's a whole other process you have to follow. Uh, connectivity to the database. If Big Fix can't connect to its database, it's not going to start. It's not going to be happy. Um, so that's, uh, that's something you got to look at. Uh, maybe the database is down. Uh, maybe the connection to the database is down. Um, AVs and firewalls can be issues. Uh, make sure they are configured to allow the big fix processes uh, to function properly. Uh, services. There's a number of services that are run. And, uh, you know, if, this, if they're not all running, uh, stuff is going to break. Um, <laughs> services uh, do have uh, tied to users. Uh, so you need to make sure that uh, whoever this was installed with has the proper authorities. So if you installed your root server, and you'll know this uh, when you do the install, but sometimes uh, things change, and uh, you may not have known that. So uh, you need to make sure if stuff isn't starting right, did something change on the service account that's uh, being used. PhilDB. Uh, PhilDB is the process how BigFix loads data from clients and relays into the BigFix database. Um, data is transient in these files, uh, so uh, you, it should be in and out in very short order. Um, normal uh, startup is showing here where it's, uh, you know, PhilDB is starting, blah, 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 go through some algorithms. And that's pretty much it. That's all you're going to see in PhilDB. Uh, the biggest problem that I see with PhilDB is that it can't talk to the database. And these are the errors you will see when it can't talk to the database. And as soon as that database comes back up, um, you can see that it starts its conversation and everything goes back into normal. Um, so if you're seeing stuff stick around in these logs longer than a minute, there's probably something wrong. Uh, so it typically means that it can't talk to the database. So take a look at the database. GatherDB. GatherDB is a process of gathering information for sites in your big fix environment. Um, so it's 
this is typically, you know, every hour on the hour, your big fix server is going out to the big fix servers in the, in the cloud and saying, hey, do I have new content? Uh, so in other words, it's gathering content. Um, so it's going to be able to put data in here. Um, typically, uh, I don't see a lot of issues here. Uh, SQL is one of the biggest ones. Um, a little bit later, I'll talk about an issue I ran into on Gather that uh, I wasn't able to see until I actually looked at the uh, relay log where it was supposed to be gathering from. So remember to talk about that in a minute. 